What have I told you lot? But, Chef, these are talented musicians. Cretin, how many times have I told you not to interrupt when I'm interrupting? That's not fair. She was just trying to... Button it, crab. Stu, these are not musicians. They are crustaceans, invertebrates, seafood, with the emphasis on the word food. This is a restaurant, not an audition for the X Factor. Could I just have one word? Getting one word out of you has never been a problem. Getting you to shut your girls is an entirely other matter, Stu. These are not to be played with. They are to be cut up, stir-fried and eaten. <gasps> but you've had your chance, Stu. You're fired. You can't do that. Just have pal. Clear your locker and leave me to deal with these hors d'oeuvres. Come on out. Come on. Right, what's going on here then? Who saw what? Make it snappy. We didn't see a thing. I'm not talking to you vegetables. Oh, OK. What are you on about, Stu? Well, Chef's out there with a cleaver embedded in him. No way. And it doesn't look self-inflicted. Could you elaborate, Stu? Not much to elaborate on, Sid. He's dead. The cleaver's a fairly big clue, and what I want to know is how did this happen? Hmm, what have you got to say, Cornelius? Well, I really don't know what to say. I mean, you're not actually accusing us, I hope, just because we're the only ones with him and he was threatening us with that same cleaver. Must you go round in circles? I'm a crab. What do you expect? Fiona, I think Cornelius was eventually going to make a point there. Please? So what is it, Cornelius? Sid did it. What? Whoa there. Well, when I say Sid did it... He was there in the room? OK, I'll go that far. And the cleaver was probably most to do with him. Right, Theo, now I've got a problem. The main problem being that cleaver is now sticking out of Bert. Oi! You can't go blaming me, willy-nilly. You were there too. Hold it, hold it. Can I get this straight? So you're saying that all three of you were in the room with Bert? Yep. She's right, Stu. Can squids have solicitors? And when I left, Bert was alive. But when I came back, just like that, he was dead. Pretty much. And Sid did it. Actually took the cleaver and plunged it into Bert. Not exactly. Not precisely. Not at all. So, Sid, you're saying you didn't do it and therefore Cornelius is lying. Um. Come on, Sid. Out with it. Right, it's like this, OK? Bert's going proper bananas. Oi, do you mind? And he's yapping on about sea flu batters and crab goes a la hollandaise and all the time he's getting redder and redder like he's going to blow fuse. It was just like that time we had the shoal of Atlantic cod in and they wouldn't stop barber shopping in the deep freeze. And we're like, chill, Bert, we'll put the instruments away and he's like, it's gone beyond that now. It's cleaver time, is what he said. Yeah, that's right, cleaver time. Those were his exact words? Oh, yes, absolutely. And then what happened? Hmm, well... All goes a bit murky then. Perhaps we all need a reminder, eh? Let's go back to the scene of the crime. Really? Yes, really. Put the vegetables down. I feel undressed now. Follow me. We could say that lobster did it. Brilliant. Louis lobsters never like chef. Agreed, but he'd need help. Sir, we blame the crayfish twins. Yeah, they're well mean. Plant a few claw prints and we're away. Whoa, -ho, hang on. They're all at the Caribbean crustacean carvery today. Yeah, you're right. We could just leg it. Er, uh, hello, I'm a fish. Well, we are musicians. Let's face the music. <laughs> Right, I suggest we focus on the recently deceased Bert. And on the fact that there aren't any witnesses. Apart from us three, you mean? I'm not so sure. Personally, I think we should go back and question those vegetables. Strictly speaking, two of them are classified as salad. 
Don't be stupid. There's only broccoli. You're off your sweets, Charlie, you. I'm with Corny. Tomatoes are salad. Veg. Salad. Talk to the thin losers. Enough. Might I remind you that the niceties of veg versus salad are not of the utmost concern here, whereas the death of Bert is... Respect. Er, uh, where are your instruments? What instruments? The things that you were playing when I was sacked. Oh, those instruments. I think you might mean this. Never trust a tomato. OK, OK, let's go over what we have so far. Can we do this tomorrow? I've got a gig down at the Crab and Coleslaw. No, we cannot. Tomorrow's Big Buffy Bonanza Day, and we've stacks to do. We could always knock that back to next week. No, that's Hula Hula Hawaiian Special Week. Precisely, Sid. So, Bertie's dead. You lot were the last ones to see him alive. He was threatening you with a cleaver. Said cleaver is now resting in his ribs. You're all acting mighty strange, and your instruments have gone missing. Apart from Sid's drum, which he was hiding from me, and which has now resurfaced, courtesy of Tina the Tomato, with a huge hole in it. With me so far? Er, uh, I guess so, Stu. So, would any of you care to clarify the situation? Right. We never raised the fan, did we, Sid? Correct. No tentacle, eh, Corny? Agreed. Not even a claw. It was a pure accident on my mother's scales. Fiona's spot on. Bert chucked that cleaver at us. Sid was so brave. He jumped in the way. With his drum like a shield. The cleaver bounced off the drum and hit him. We all rushed over. It took me a while. But we were too late. So we hid behind the vegetables. Not veg, salad. Then you found us. There, you see. A positive outcome from simply listening, allowing, considering and talking straight when it was your turn. Was that so hard? No. Good. Are you going to dob us in? Well, of course, the authorities will have to be notified. Not Gordon Ramsay. However, it's a clear case of self-defence. If you look in, you'll probably just get Jamie. That'll be tough on the pulses and herbs, then. Do you know what this means? We're, We're off the menu! Seafood, eh? What can you do? Never trust a tomato, eh? You want to slice of me? Do you want to slice of me? Typical veg, always squabbling. I'm salad. Not from where I'm standing. Honestly, some folks can't conduct a simple gathering without bickering. What you lot need is a structure and a decent source. And you can get lost. Don't you just hate it when your food disagrees with you? <laughs>